are fast forward into the future, becoming yep. the now, aren't we? Yeah. Okay, hey, Tony. Good to see yeah, you, buddy. Good to see you. Dude, I am excited. We are finally getting to the interview now after Nick talks a little smack and Scott passes the baton. How kind of him. We do love the younger generation getting excited about technology. We are now going to talk high pressure cooling system, but I want to bring up this part right here, which says all of the pressure, none of the stress. They didn't bring me any stress today. They're not going to bring you <laughs> any either. Cameron, yeah. I want to go through the bullet points here because I know it's important for the audience to understand because our first thought is typically what machine am I going to buy, right? And oftentimes yep. this type of stuff is an afterthought and we often look into the differences between each one after a failure. So right. let's get past the failures, get into the successes right away. Yep. So I want to go through the bullet points. Various Absolutely. pressure options. I see 250 to 1000. To my understanding, when I get various pressures, that's an upgrade to my system. How does it work with you? Correct. Yeah. So this is our Veriflow. Um, so 1000 PSI, but it's variable flow, which means you can set the pressure electronically. So you can set it to 250, 500, 750, um, or 1000 PSI. Uh, you can set that from the unit itself, or you can set it from your program uh, using spare M codes. And to my knowledge, based on how much pressure we need, a thousand can sometimes be overkill, but occasionally we need it as well. I did work in the micro machining world. So the ease of being able to switch that from one to the other is kind of what we're highlighting here. Yeah, correct. So the ease of being able to switch the pressure is what we're highlighting, um, as well as the adaptive flow control. So and tell me a little bit more about adaptive flow. Yeah, so the adaptive flow, um, it's not a fixed flow system. So anytime that you don't need a full eight gallons a minute, the system is automatically going to reduce the speed of the pump uh, to just supply enough pressure to make that or just enough flow to make that pressure that you've selected. So it's intuitive in that sense, whereas in most cases it would say, you've set it here, we're gonna run it here. It actually pays attention to what's necessary and needed yep. versus what's overflow and not required. That's what that a whole adaptive flow control is? Yep, exactly, the adaptive flow control. And uh, so that does a number of things, um, reduces coolant foaming, uh, it's more energy efficient, um, just more control over your process. I like to have control. I'm not a control freak or anything like some <laughs> yeah. people out there, yeah. but I like to have control over yeah. that process. Let's slide down to 8 GPM. First of all, what is GPM and what's the significance of the number eight? Yep. So um, eight gallons a minute is what it stands for. So eight gallons per minute. Um, that's a standard run of the mill coolant system, a, a flow for a coolant system, I should say. Um, and again, that's the maximum output. So this outputs anywhere between two and eight gallons a minute, depending on the tool that's being used. Very cool. Yeah. I like that. I'm starting to understand that this is a very modern system. And yeah. I like that a lot because yep. we're living in a world where the modern is what we need to thrive and succeed, to make money. We're not, yep. we're being eco-friendly. We're caring about all of these little attributes that go into a plug and play system that we forget about and don't really care, right? Yeah. That's where this comes into play. Let's go Absolutely. In, into that, the single plug. That's not an everyday concept either, is it? No, so single, pl single plug interface for both power and power uh, signals from the machine as well as alarm signals. Um, so just a simple installation, uh, real simple installation. Uh, something on the adaptive flow control, I'm going back to your point a minute ago, is that's offered as a standard. So, um, you know, higher technology for the same competitive price as uh, others. I'm glad we went back and revisited that statement yeah. as well because yeah. Uh, a lot of times that's not a standard. So right. thank you for doing yep. that. I want to talk a little bit now about the, the 25 gallon tank. Now, we obviously have a nice size here, yeah. which we all know, we all know, I'm going to say it again, real estate space. We're all right. fighting for it. We give our machines the most real estate space. So the, some of the, as you, you're professionals at chip conveyors as well. So you know right. the importance of making sure you have enough space in a facility. 25 gallon tank, is that? Yep. With this space, is that enough for me to do what I need to do inside of my machining system? It is, yeah. It's enough for most applications. So at a, eight gallons a minute, you know, the cycle rate is enough to support, uh, or 25 gallons is enough to support that. Um, that allows us to have a small compact unit with the filtration built in. Okay. Now, again, technology, IoT, connectivity. We really are fast forward into the future, becoming yep. the now, aren't we? Yeah. Can we talk about that? Absolutely. So um, we're working on integrating this into our IoT ecosystem. So as opposed to just having uh, monitoring of your machine tool, we'll have monitoring of the peripherals as well, such as coolant systems, uh, soon to be conveyors and uh, coolant tanks as well. 
All right, so I'm gonna summarize these last few because while the first one is all significant, yep. these last ones I think we can summarize a little bit instead of doing bullet by bullet, which is user interface, caster wheels, two year warranty, and one of my favorites, yep. made in the USA. Wait, yes, did I sir. do that correct? Oh, it's born, isn't yeah. it? But also this was <laughs> yep. born in the USA, The one of my favorite topics to talk about. Would you mind just yep. kind of going over those four bullets as well? Yeah, so the user interface, that speaks to the um, touchscreen, or not touchscreen, but the UI on the unit. Um, as well as the integrated status light. So our logo glows different colors based on the status of the unit, as opposed to a tower stat light. Um, so when it's blue, it's idle, ready to run. When it's green, it's running. And if there's an issue, it's red for an alarm. Cameron, did you just tell me that you have now turned this branding into a color-coded yeah. scheme as well? Which yeah. <laughs> I know that you're doing a little bit of that on the conveyor side of things where you'll cut out a person's name you guys right. really are forward thinking and making sure yeah. that everything's connected everything's eco-friendly everything's space friendly as well and then just a little bit of fun with the colors here yeah, in the exactly name. yep just a little bit of a flair to it yep is there anything cameron that we didn't cover today through these bullet points that you'd like to convey to the audience because i know that when i read this from the very beginning when we come bring this all full yeah. circle of all of the pressure none of the stress it's not necessarily about the machine, it's about working with you and your team. It's about not having the stress of being able to pick up the phone and yep. reach someone and talk to someone and not have someone in another country or a computer yeah. operated thing. It's gonna be you guys. So none of the stress when it comes to working with you. Yeah, absolutely. So it's our same great team as the conveyors and everything else that we support. Um, and really we simple or we focus on simplicity, everything from quoting to purchasing to installing uh, to servicing. That's really what we're focused on is a simplistic unit that you get a lot of value out of. Yeah, so. I mean, in summary, we're talking Hennig. It's a number, a family you've known for a long time in all parts of the machining world. Now bringing this brand new, can I use the word sexy? Of course I can, sexy <laughs> product to manufacturing for all of you guys. If you want to know more, you know where to find. I mean, Scott is a legend like we talked about, but you got yep. Cameron as well, kind of the creator of all of this. Really in-depth knowledge that'll allow you to succeed as well. Can we pop on a website real quick to let everyone know where they can find out more about this technology? Yes, uh, so find us online at www.hennig, H-E-N-N-I-G, worldwide.com. Absolutely perfect. This is my buddy Cameron. This is the next yep. generation of, of influencers and creativity and engineers and technicians we need in our lives to keep manufacturing succeeding here in the U.S. and around the world. Cameron, Absolutely. you're incredible. Hey, thanks a lot. I appreciate it. We also appreciate yep. Scott and not Nick. Yes. Not We don't appreciate Nick today, but we do appreciate him <laughs> yeah. on making chips and a lot yeah. of other subjects, but not Liverpool. Yep. Thank you all for watching. We know how important your time is and how valuable that is.